Texas. I did Jimi Hendrix, of course. Um, I picked Jimi. Well, first I was going to do Ed Reed. I'm a huge Ed Reed fan. You know, go read this. Like, Y'all probably seen this on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. Hat. You don't know if I was messing with Priscilla. Um, let's see. Jimi Hendrix. I picked Jimi because he did something that, of course, you can talk about, but it's like he doesn't he doesn't make music, he creates music. And when I say create music, he puts his feeling into it. Now people might say it's the drugs or anything, but you know, everyone has their own opinion. Eyes are like gavels nowadays. Everyone judges everyone. Um he came from a broken home. His dad and his mother met and before before Jimmy was born, uh it was the day after they found out actually and uh, his dad was in the military. He was about five, six. His name was Al. His his mother's name is Lucille, and she was a slave. And she escaped. She went to Seattle, you know, registered. Everyone liked her because she was like an ideal model. You know, she walked by and she had the little the little dress, the nice hips, everything. That's what people say. Jimmy got his looks from too. Jimmy was he was about five eleven, and. His big afro, they called it a halo, because you know it said on his head like a pro. But he was like, uh, they, they assumed he was 6 or 7 or something. But anyway, uh, Jimmy's father, he couldn't make it whenever he was born. He was in the military. He asked for leaving, but they denied it. They said no. And then they put him in jail, so he didn't go AWOL on the rest of the people. So that's how that worked. And then he didn't see his son till three years later. And by then, his mother, was messing with another dude. Excuse me, I need some water. <laughs> um, uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh, and the reason why Jimmy has a a weird sound for the guitar is like, as a child when he was raised up, he 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 had a thing with aliens and spaceships. You know, like he. He he say he would hear him, but you know, and it, he even had an imaginary child from ages four to eight. So you know, they kind of stuck with him. Her name was Ocessa or something, something weird. And uh, whenever he found his first guitar, his dad gave it to him because he was hanging with band people. Well, other musicians put it like that because he 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 came from broken home. He was in and out of orphanage. You know, uh, his dad and his mother loved to party a lot. So. That, that was a bad environment. And they had several other kids, about six kids actually. And they kept putting them up for adoption because they were coming out with bad medical conditions. And they, it's not like, they kind of wanted to abandon them, but then again, they couldn't afford the, the operations and the medicine that they needed, so they gave them that. And uh, they, they you know, gave them away. But Jimmy, he remained around, and his, older, and his other younger brother, Leon, he hung around too. And uh, they would go from Seattle to Toronto to back to Seattle to across country just trying to keep a stable home because, of course, they didn't have much money back then. And uh, let's see, whenever he finally, you know, got kind of popular, he, uh, he went overseas and he had this jacket that he got from the flea market. It was a military jacket. It had 64 buttons on it. He, uh, and, you know, it was pretty shiny. And uh, the the British best they didn't like it because it was like, "What are you doing wearing a jacket?" Then he uh, he announced that he was in the war too. Um, let me see. He was one of the dudes that um, you know what I'm talking about from D-Day, the parachuters. What were they called? Paratroopers. Paratroopers. And that gave him plenty of respect because they was like only a true heroic hero of a heart heart of a hero would dive down to D-Day, you know, and fight for the country. So they was like, okay, they gave him a slap on the back. Funny story is, later on that day, he went down to the a little local pub, because in between sets, he liked to, he liked to, you know, get a little drink, you know, pastime or something. So he went in, and the funny thing is, the circus was in town. And so the bartender, he was like, they uh, it's like, can you serve us? He's like, no. It's like, why? And then he's like, get, get out of here, you know? He annoyed them, he went down, Start wiping the table, went down, wiped the table. So they asked him again, it's like, hey man, you not gonna serve us? And it's like, no. I said, why? And then he never said nothing. He kept on playing, you know, wiping his, cleaning the glasses, everything. 
So then again, he asked me, he said, Jimmy got mad because, you know, being black back in the 70s and 60s, you know, it was a lot of race. So he was like, hey, man, is it because I'm black? He said, heaven is no dude. Didn't you read the sign outside? So, you know, Jimmy, he's still aggravated. So Noel, one of his band members, he went outside to read the sign. He read it, he came back in. He said, dude, we can't get any drinks in here. And Jimmy was literally finna jump over the counter <laughs> on the dude and just go a rap. And uh, I guess this was his, he was gonna go a since his dad couldn't go a for seeing him or something. And uh, he was like, nah, man, he thinks we're clowns, dude. He said, what? He said, yeah, the circus in town, he thinks we're clowns because of the big half rows and big droopy clothes and all that. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> and uh, before I start talking too much, I'm gonna go ahead and I tried to, uh, I like, I like Jimi Hendrix so much that I went and got a guitar. But the only reason why I got the guitar is because Mr. G right here said it'd be pretty awesome if you could come to class and play a guitar left-handed. I tried left-handed, but the dude said it wasn't going to work after I took the original chords out and strung it left-handed because of this right here. But then I went and someone else told me, said you could have did it, but you know, it's what, about three days ago. So I was like, oh, that's going to be kind of hard to learn it. Left-handed now, but here you go. Um, if you know the words, feel free to sing along. I'm not a perfect dude, as you know. I just started what, a week ago, so here I go. Ha, 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 ha. 